Is there a more personalized way to treat ductal carcinoma in situ? Let me share with you some breaking news on this subject. Ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIS, is the cancer still confined inside the ducts of the breast. DCIS can be treated with lumpectomy, and if you do treat it with lumpectomy, you typically need radiation therapy and perhaps anti-hormone therapy. The question has been, which of the types of ductal carcinoma in situ do we need to treat with radiation therapy and anti-hormone therapy? What we've used historically to make this decision is the age of the patient, the size of the area of the in situ breast cancer, the grade of the cancer, whether it's solid or, or cribiform or whatever it may be, whether there's comedonecrosis, all these fancy terms have been combined together as a way of deciding uh, whether radiation therapy is needed when you have breast conservation. Remember that if you leave the breast behind, then there's a chance of a recurrence of the cancer in the breast. Well, importantly, uh, the folks at Genomic Health have developed a while ago an oncotype DCIS test, taking the same type of technology and applying this to the in situ breast cancer the way they have with invasive breast cancer. And the oncotype score has become very much part of the standard of care in evaluating patients with invasive breast cancer. Around four years ago was the first initial report on the DCIS score in a small group of patients that strongly suggested that a low-risk DCIS score may be associated with avoiding radiation therapy. In other words, the radiation therapy wasn't going to be needed and wasn't going to add that much. The difficulty with that original report of a few years ago was that the group of patients was quite small. At the 2014 annual meeting of the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, an important report was shared with the largest breast cancer research meeting in the world. This report came from Ontario, Canada, and it's called the Ontario Cohort Report. This was a much larger group of patients, around 571 patients who were treated with lumpectomy alone and no radiation therapy. What was done then was to look at those 571 patients and look at their DCIS score of low risk, intermediate risk, and high risk, and then looking at what the recurrence rate was of the cancer within the breast. Now, a little over 60% of the patients in this cohort study had a DCIS score in the low risk range, and the chance that they were going to have a recurrence in the breast was very low. In other words, what came out of this study, also looking at the age of the patient, the size of the area of the DCIS, the, gra the grade of the DCIS, and the other anatomic and clinical factors that we normally use, what we found was, and what the authors reported, was that the DCIS score was an independent predictor and an important predictor, a biologic predictor, of the chance of the cancer occur reoccurring within the treated breast. So what's the bottom line of this study? We now have an additional tool to evaluate whether patients need follow-up radiation therapy after lumpectomy and being treated for ductal carcinoma in situ. I believe that the importance of this study is going to grow enormously. If you've been diagnosed with ductal carcinoma in situ, I believe it's highly appropriate now to ask what is your DCIS score and how does that DCIS score play into making additional treatment decisions about your cancer. Do you know that not every breast cancer patient needs chemotherapy? Now there's a way to decide if chemotherapy will benefit you based on the unique biology of your tumor. To learn more about the Oncotype DX test and how to discuss it with your doctor, click this button.